So just now I got a call from the king of the coast and he's telling me there are graphics cards left, right and center just going for discounted prices. It is a sale out there where miners are losing money because about a year ago, they were paying about double what they're letting these 1070 Ti's go for and also GTX 1060's. So we've got some deals here. I'm looking to get 10 GTX 1066 gigabytes for about 250 Aussie dollars a pop which makes them very cheap. And then I'm also looking to get the GTX 1070 Ti's for 365 Aussie a pop as well. So deals are here now and they're to be had in this flood season. So I'm here to tell you guys right now, this is the flooding of mining graphics cards. So get ready, let's talk about if you should buy one or not in this vlog. All right guys, so I just landed into the King of the Coast secret operation here. We're just gonna do a quick interview with him and find out what's going on. What's up guys, welcome to Tech Yes City. Well, I don't really wanna do 800, mate, for a 1080. Like, man, this guy, he wanted 800 for his 1080 Ti. I was like, nah, man, it's not happening. I'll give you 650, cash in hands, come get it today. And he's like, yeah, all right, man. I was like, yeah, done deal. Bit of an update here, guys. The GTX 1060s deal has fell through. Uh, so we got the 1070 Ti's, but we're gonna be hunting some more mining cards. There is a listing that's popped up that I could potentially swoop on. So I'm gonna see how that goes. The Rotanium case, unfortunately, that was just so quick. I didn't even have time to film it. That's how hungry people are for gaming PCs at the moment. So I'm gonna see if I can put something else together. But there's also a GTX 1080 Ti that I'm gonna be swooping on as well. So hopefully I can get that for under 800 AUD. So now here we are at like day three or four. I've kind of lost track of this mining vlog, but good news is we've managed to pick up another 18 1066 gigabytes. And this was off a person off eBay. They had a couple of for sale. I saw that they were obviously selling more than one and that generally indicates a miner, especially three graphics cards because no one does triple SLI with 1060s. And I put them in an offer. I said, how many cards have you got? And then I asked King of the Coast, do you want to come in halves with us? And he was like, yeah, let's get those deals. So 240 Aussie dollars a pop for 1066 gigabyte models, uh, custom OC editions. This is really good value. I mean, it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in, guys. If miners are selling these cards for real cheap, pick them up, and then you can put them in gaming PCs and create some serious value for yourself and also the gaming community as well. Mine cards, they're no problems. I've had not one issue with these graphics cards. And as I said in previous times, so many times, these 1060s and 10 series cards are still under warranty with a healthy amount of warranty left. In a lot of cases, two years. And we talked recently in Address the Yes, where the mean time before failure on the fans is a good 50,000 hours on most cards, even more. It's usually 50,000 to 150,000 hours. So that's over five years. And if they've only been run in a lot of cases for nine months, they've still got a massive amount of life left in them, especially when those fans were run at 100% speeds and that's gonna keep the graphics card cool, keep everything else cool. So now with the cheap stock I'm getting on hand, 365 AUD a pop for a 1070 Ti, 240 AUD a pop for a 1066 gigabyte. These are bargains, the RTX 2000 series. I'm like, I do not know how this thing is gonna perform at all. Also, here is a thing about these graphics cards. It's a flood at the moment. It's going crazy. A lot of people bought these graphics cards in droves. And the thing is, they paid way too much when those graphics cards were going literally over double the price that they were retailed for. You knew that was just a crunch time. People were paying stupid prices thinking they could make ridiculous amounts of money. And if anything in this world, money does not grow on trees. And so when I saw that, I'm doing the opposite. I'm selling some of my cards here when I saw these stupid prices that these cards were going for. It's all about a balance. And now the balance is, it's time for you guys to pick up some cheap stock. 
trust me, the miners have already been burned. They've been burned really hard to the point where I don't think they're too keen to go get back into cryptocurrency anytime soon. And I told my viewers, if you guys followed us in January, I said then, now was the time to sell and people mocked me saying, you know, you've been in crypto for like six months and suddenly you're an expert on it. No, what I'm an expert in is buying low and selling high. It's that freaking simple. When something's cheap, snap it up. When something's expensive, sell it. Now, people may be wondering how much should you pay for a 10 series card? And the answer is as cheap as possible. Always get a deal for as little as you can. And I doubt any of the 10 series cards you're gonna get hosed on. But of course, do suss it out beforehand because one of my viewers was telling me he did pick up a dud GTX 1060 and he's telling me he met the person at an out of house spot. So if you're gonna pick up some of these cards, especially if you're gonna pick up a bolt deal, at least go to someone's place and pick it up from their place so you're not gonna get hosed or at least take a photo of their license or something. I don't know when the 2060 or 2050 cards are gonna be released, but I know one thing at these prices, they're just such good value for money for 10 series cards. And I don't think, even if these cards come out on the, the 20 series, I don't think they're gonna beat the value of these cards at this price point. Because what we're seeing with the 2000 series is that Nvidia is kind of creating a new market. They want to add a different kind of market because I think they still want to sell 10 series cards. That's just my gut feeling. That's how I'm interpreting the market. But also with the King of the Coast, I will reveal in due time who exactly he is. Uh, but we've got some things going on besides YouTube that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, when I can share more information about it, I will. It's just really a cool sort of new experience. And of course, I wanna keep up the content for you guys. I love doing YouTube, but of course YouTube, I feel in ways is kind of forsaken the yes. And when I'm forsaken, I still got that ethic. I still got that hard work protocol down pat and I'm just gonna keep on going. It doesn't stop. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let us know in the comment section below if you've picked up any 10 series cards for bargains. Cause I know on Twitter, a lot of people have been messaging me with their deals and they're getting even better deals than I am. It's crazy some of the deals, uh, some of the viewers are picking up you guys. Uh, let us know and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.